Hi all, welcome to Vision Board Community. So today we have a special guest and Devi Vidya, so the same name as me. And Devi is our community member. And currently why I come to Devi to uh, helping the people like she cleared the DP 700. Maybe you are aware about the DP 700 is the most important certification at this moment in the industry because DP 203 data, data, assured data engineering uh, exam was printed in 31st March 2025. So people will be kind of a question mark which uh, uh, like a certification we should take and so that is the absolute answer will be dp 700 okay fabric exam so uh, it was like a kind of a tough exam but devi recently cleared that one so we need to know about how the experience would looks like what are the questions you get so that will be definitely helpful for whoever preparing for the assured data engineering interviews or still working in the assured data engineer in the industry devi are you there yes yes devi hi hi, hi. devi hi, hi. yeah good good how are you i'm good thank you okay so we are eagerly waiting to your experience about the fabric exam and can you give some kind of idea about that one uh yes before uh, that you can you just introduce yourself also that will be really helpful for the people yeah uh, so currently i am pursuing my masters in data science and advanced computing at the university of reading uh, uk so previously i have had uh, experiences as a data engineer back in india Okay. And so uh, I had D, uh, DP203 certification and I so but then when I came to know about, you know, it is being retired, I wanted to uh, upskill myself and take under certification with, like going forward. Okay. So that's when I came to know about DP700, I mean, especially through our community. And then there I also I was I'm currently attending the classes as well. So I go to know more about fabric and that's when I decided, okay, uh, probably I could take DP 700 so that uh, that if there is any gap, then it will be uh, bridged. Yeah. Okay. okay, that means uh, like a DP, I, I will also believe if you add the DP 700 in, in, the pro, in the portfolio, right? So definitely the opportunities will be high. So coming to Devi, you already working in an Azure data and at least some kind of idea. So coming into the fabric, what are the things you face while attending like an interview while learning stage also? Okay, coming into uh, previous technology to fabric. So what are the challenges or how the journey would look like? Uh, so DP 700, so the first thing uh, I did was obviously I got a free trial using in fabric. And I would say that was the biggest challenge because I took some time to get in doing the free free trial account. There were some technical okay. issues. So, mm -hmm. but, uh, but thankfully I got the free trial account. And so mm -hmm. then first I started with Microsoft Learn documentation. And mm -hmm. I mean, first from our class also, I go to know about the basic terminologies and what are the, you know, services available in Fabric. Mm -hmm. So that really helped with a clear understanding of the basic uh, theory or basic knowledge that we should know. Then I started working in small projects in Fabric, like okay. hands-on, especially from uh, Microsoft documentation, like there are many projects, uh, right, which we, are, which we do. So I did that. So uh, once I started doing uh, hands-on in Fabric, mm -hmm. it wasn't really very difficult because if we have previous experience in Azure services like Data Factory or Synapse or whatever, then it will help us in doing fabric, in doing projects in fabric as well. It's just the okay. initial uh, struggle in just getting to know the environment and what are the services available because it's completely new, right? So mm -hmm. it's once we get past that, then it's not really difficult in doing uh, hands-on in fabric, uh, I would say. Okay, okay, great. So that means already uh, Fabric is a one or more advanced level of Azure Data Factory and CNAF yes, and yes. other other Microsoft services. Yes, yes. Uh, at least you know, like initially yeah. when we are joined in any kind of product, we are taken any kind of product and trying to do it, that kind of difficulty. But yeah. remaining yeah. same as like a pipeline creation and yeah. warehouse, like everything is similar. Yeah. And one more thing, uh, David, do you remember any kind of questions? Uh, got in like an interview, like an in the DP 700 exam. If yes. we, if you have, it will be really helpful for others. 
Yes. Uh, before answering that question, I just want to add on to your point earlier. Because fabric is just the best of what uh, Power BI or Synapse and Lake House, right? So, like, if for yes. anyone who wants to work in ingestion or transformation visualization, then it's a complete unified platform where you can work on everything. <laughs> so, uh, so that being said, even the questions, I would say, like for example, there were multiple questions about data ingestion like for example data pipeline but i answer that question with my the knowledge i had while working in azure data factory right like okay. for example some activities in data factory there were there i don't exactly remember the question but there was this question where okay so now what, which activity we would run in the data flow like in this uh, process so okay. i I was able to answer that question using this knowledge because okay. the data factory is almost kind of similar in both fabric and Azure data factory. That there was this question, and also we should have good understanding of metal in our architecture, like sil like bronze, silver, and gold layer. There there were some questions from that, and also about access, like admin access, fabric admin, and which uh, like which permission we should have to use this. Admin fabric. contributor, these kind yeah, of contributor, right? Uh, exactly. Ah. They, they, uh, I remember there was one question with that, and also there was this question from Azure Streaming Analytics, like windowing function, tumbling okay. window session. Yeah, so there was mm -hmm. one question from that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, and that I, I don't remember the questions much, but I, I but I would say that. Um, it, it was difficult, the exam was difficult, but uh, I think what helped was doing hands-on as well mm -hmm. as having a little bit of knowledge in Azure and then we'll be able to uh, complete the certification with, you know, and, and also I did uh, make use of Microsoft Learn, like you always say, you sh we should know where to search for things in Microsoft Learn documentation while working, right? Mm -hmm. So we can also use this documentation in the exam as well. So, okay. so having a clear idea of that documentation, where to go search for things, and and that that also help. Yeah. Okay. Great. And great. even in our project, like uh, we uh, yeah, you always encourage us to go to the learn do Microsoft Learn documentation and see for things, and you know find out find it ourselves. So mm -hmm. yeah, so that that did help, and I also um, went through a few practice questions, and mm -hmm. then uh, I was able to. To just summarize what we have learned using the ha hands-on, that such questions also helped. Okay, okay, that would be really nice. I think till now we are facing. There is already mentioned some issue with the tenant creations and on Microsoft, yes. but you can use your um, like an uh, college student ID or something, yes. or even organization it will be permitted. So yes. that way we can solve that fabric issue. I think in 20 uh, April also we are facing these kind of tenant creation issues. Maybe it will be resolved soon. But uh, I would say like whatever they will sharing the information, right? it will be really helpful for the people. Please prepare. Currently, DP203 is not available in the industry like a certification. So we need to be focused on the DP fan hunter. Devi, other than this one, anything you want to share with the community? Uh, I would say, I mean, even I was very scared because it's like too, it's very expensive and in the UK, yes. it, like I have to pay it in, you know, it's, it's really very expensive. I was so scared about this, but uh, with proper learning and with support of the community, we'll be able to pass this exam. And so I would just say, uh, be confident and all the best to everyone who is taking the exam. Thank you. Thank you, Devi. Thanks for your Thank valuable you. time and valuable information. Thank you. Thank you, Devi.